Hi, welcome to this Cobra Maths video on differentiation. In this video, we're going to look at how differentiation can be used to solve problems. So let's have a look at two examples. So our first example, a farmer wants to create a run for her chickens against the side of her house. She has 30 meters of fencing and wants to create the maximum area for the run. And here we've got a sketch, as you can see, there's the side of the house and she's going to be using fencing on three sides. So you've got the width of the rectangle being X, the length of the rectangle being Y, and the other width of it obviously being X because it'd be equal to the other side. And part A says show that Y equals 30 subtract 2X. So as we know, she's got 30 meters of fencing and we want to create the maximum area. So we want to use all that fencing. So we know that the three sides of the rectangle where she's going to use fencing, obviously we're going to sort of assume that her house is very long and we don't need to worry about any fencing on one side. And we know that the three sides, whenever we add them together, it will be equal to 30 meters. So let's write that down. X plus Y plus X equals 30 meters. Now we want to show that Y equals 30 subtract 2X. So here we've got X plus X is 2X plus Y equals 30. And when we subtract 2X from both sides, we get Y equals 30 subtract 2X. Okay, part B. Part B says show the area of the run is given by A equals 30X subtract 2X squared. Now obviously the area of the rectangle is the length times the width. But here, obviously, we've got x and y, but we know that y is equal to 30 subtract 2x. So I'm actually going to write here 30 subtract 2x. That is also the length. So if we multiply the length by the width, we can get the area. So the area is equal to the width, which is x, times by the length, which is 30 subtract 2x. And if we expand our brackets, we get a is equal to 30x subtract 2x squared. And that's what we've been asked to show. We've been asked to show that the area is equal to 30x subtract 2x squared. Okay, let's have a look at part C. So part C, I suppose this is the key part of the question. It says, use differentiation to find the value of x for which a is a maximum. Now we know from differentiation that maximums will happen, maxima or minima will happen whenever dy by dx is equal to zero, or whenever it's a turning point. So here we've got a equals 30x subtract 2x squared. So this would be, I suppose looking at it, it's an x squared, it's a negative x squared, so it's an n-shaped quadratic, so we'll have a maximum point and we want to find the, the value for x for which that will be a maximum. So we're going to differentiate this. Now we're differentiating a, so we're, instead of writing dy by dx, we're going to write dA by dx because we're differentiating a with respect to x. So let's differentiate. So differentiating this will be, we're differentiating 30x, well that would just be 30, and then differentiating minus 2x squared, we'll bring the two down, so it's going to be minus 4x, and it'll be to the power of 1, but we don't need to write that. So dA by dx will be equal to 30 subtract 4x. Now we know that the, whenever there's a maximum, that dy by dx or dA by dx will be equal to 0. So at a maximum, dA by dx will equal zero. So that means we're gonna put this equal to zero. So we're gonna write 30 minus four x equals zero. And let's solve this to find the value for x. So if we add four x to both sides of the equation, we get 30 equals four x. And dividing both sides by four will give us that x equals, well halving and half and again will be 7.5. So that means that x is 7.5. So if we go back to our shape, that means that x is 7.5, which is obviously what we've been asked for in the question. Um, it means the other side will be 7.5. Now that's 15 altogether. We had 30 meters of fencing. So that means that the width, length of the rectangle would be 15 meters. So this would be the rectangle, which would give us the maximum area for 30 meters of fencing against the side of her house. And if we were asked to find, so in this question, we were asked to find the value for X. So the value for X for which the area is a maximum would be 7.5 meters. If we were asked to find the length of the rectangle, that would be 15. If we were asked to find the area of the rectangle, then we would times the 15 by 7.5. Okay, let's have a look at our next example now. So next example. Okay, let's have a look at our next example now. So our next example says, shown as a cardboard cuboid, <laughs> as a tongue twister, with a volume of 60 centimeters cubed. So the volume of this shape is 60 centimeters cubed. Part A, show that Y equals 30 over X squared. So we've been told the volume is equal to 60 centimeters cubed. So let's work out the volume or an expression for the volume of this cuboid. So to get the volume, we'll do the length times the width times the height. So the volume is equal to the length, which is equal to Y times the width, which is X times the height, which is 2X. And if we multiply those together, we get the volume is equal to is equal to 2X times X, which is 2X squared times Y, which would be 2X squared Y. Now we've been told the volume of this cuboid is 60 centimeters cubed. So we know that the volume is 60, so we can write 60 is equal to 2x squared y. 
And we want to find what y is. We want to make y the subject. So if we divide both sides by 2x, well, actually, I'm going to divide both sides by 2 to begin with to get 30 equals x squared y. And then we'll just divide by x squared to get y equals 30 over x squared. So part A was to show that y is equal to 30 over x squared. So that means if we look at our diagram, we can write instead of y here, we can write 30 over x squared. So part B says, show that the area of the cardboard to make the box is given by A equals 4x squared plus 180 over x. Now the first thing I'm going to check in this question is if it mentions anything about the, the cuboid not having a lid. We've got a cardboard cuboid. It looks like it's got a lid, so this cuboid has got a lid. Some questions, sometimes the, the box won't have a lid, and that's important because if we're working at the area, surface area of the shape, we'll need to make sure that we're working at the area of the six faces rather than the five if it has a lid or five faces if it doesn't have a lid. So it says show that the area of the cardboard to make the box is given by a equals 4x squared plus 180 over x. So we want to find the surface area of the shape. But remember we know that y is equal to 30 over x squared. So let's work out the area of the three rectangles that we can see this one, two and three and then we'll double it to get the total surface area. So face one, the front of this cuboid. So one the area of that shape will be the length times the width. So the length is equal to 30 over x squared. So we've got 30 over x squared. And we're going to times that by the height of it, which is equal to 2x. So it's multiplied by 2x. And when we do that, we're going to get 30 times 2 is 60 x over x squared. And that will simplify to 60 over x whenever we divide both the top and the bottom by x. Okay, so that's the area of 1. Let's get the area of 2. So 2 is this side here. That's quite a nice one. That's x times 2x. So that's going to be x times 2x, which is equal to 2x squared. And then let's get the area of the top of the cuboid, 3. So that's going to be equal to, that's going to be quite a nice one. It's going to be 30 over x squared multiplied by x. So 30 over x squared multiplied by x. And that will be equal to 30x over x squared. And that simplifies to 30 over x. So we've got the area of the front of the cuboid, the right hand side and the top. Now obviously there's the back, the left and the bottom. So let's add those all together and get the total surface area. So it's going to be equal to 60 over x plus 60 over x plus 2x squared plus 2x squared plus 30 over x plus 30 over x and that is equal to a the total surface area so a will be equal to well 60 over x plus 60 over x plus 30 over x plus 30 over x well we've all got a common denominator which is nice so 60 plus 60 is 120 plus 30 is 150 plus 30 is 180 so that's 180 over x and we've got our 2x squared plus 2x squared so that's going to be 4x squared plus 180 over x and that's what we were asked to show in the question so part C, use differentiation to find the value of x for which a is a minimum. That's obviously going to be quite important because if I wanted to create a cuboid using cardboard, I might want to make a cuboid which has a volume of 60 centimeters cubed, but I might want to minimize the amount of cardboard or material I use to make it. So that would be really useful. So we want to find the situation wherever we want to find the value for x for which the area, the surface area is a minimum. Now, obviously, whenever it's a minimum, we know that the turning point, the gradient is equal to zero. So we know that it, dy by dx is equal to zero, or in this case, it's going to be dA by dx is equal to zero. So what we're going to do is we're going to differentiate this. Now, before we differentiate it, we've got an x on the denominator. So let's rearrange to begin with. So a equals 4x squared plus, now we have got 180 over x. Well, if we bring this up, obviously that's x to the power of one. If you bring it up, you give it a negative power. So it'd be 180 x to the negative one. Now we want to differentiate, so dA, by dx will equal, so bring the power down, 8x, and then we've got, we're going to differentiate 180x to the minus 1, so bring the power down, so it's going to be minus 1 times 180, so it's going to be minus 180x, and then we need to reduce the power by 1. Now the power at the minute is minus 1, when we reduce that by 1, we will get minus 2. Now we've got a negative power here, I tend to want to bring the x back down to the denominator, so I'm going to write dA by dx is equal to 8x minus 180 over x squared. So at a minimum point, dA by dx will equal zero. So that means that we, we have zero equals 8x subtract 180 over x squared. So let's add 180 over x squared to both sides of the equation. So that will mean that we've got 180 over x squared equals 8x. And then multiplying both sides of the equation by x squared will mean that we have 180 equals 8x cubed. Dividing by 8, 
will give us x cubed equals 22.5. And then taking the cube root of both sides of the equation will give us our value for x, which is equal to 2.8231 centimeters. If x equals 2.8231, we know that will give us a minimum value for the surface area of this cuboid. So in other words, the cuboid with a volume of 60 centimeters cubed that has dimensions y, x, and 2x, that if we want to find the minimum amount of material needed, the value of x will be equal to 2.8231. Okay, so let's have a look at part D. So part D says, find the area of cardboard needed. So in other words, find that surface area of that cuboid. So going back up to part B, we were already given that A equals 4x squared plus 180 over x. So if we substitute in our value for x into that, we will find the surface area of that cuboid. So we've got A equals 4 times 2.8231 squared plus 180 over 2.8231. And whenever we work that out, we get that A, the surface area of this cuboid, or the amount of cardboard area cardboard needed would be four times 2.8231 squared plus 180 divided by 2.8231. And that would be equal to 95.6393 centimeters squared. So that means the area of cardboard needed for our cuboid would be 95.6393 centimeters squared.